Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from Vietnam to all Team Wu users. This is Elle, and I'm from the marketing team at Team Wu. How are you? I'm very excited to be here in this video to introduce to you our newest feature, Scrabble. This feature will allow you to set up personalized crossword just like this. Uh, you can add name here and the system will automatically define the uh, mutual characters and uh, adding them into um, crosswords puzzle just like this. Uh, with this feature, you can also set up uh, for the customer to change a different cell background like this. Or you can also change the font family, change the text color. Isn't that great? Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can create this amazing feature right in Team Blue. All right, are you ready? Okay, so now we'll, we'll go to Team Blue portal here. And the first step is to create the product base, basic step. So this is where you need to determine which kind of product that you're going to sell with this kind of design. So I'm going to sell with a uh, canvas. So choose dream shape. Uh, it is a matte canvas. This one. Import. All right. So uh, the product is already imported. All the variants are here. So the next step is create the design. We'll move to the artworks page right here and click on new artwork name scrabble and for the size i'm gonna click import print area size and choose from the product that i've just imported and for the size i'm gonna choose let's see here this one all right so there you go now for the first layer, I'm gonna create a background layer. Here, click image, craft. All right, resize it a little bit. And now for the main feature of the day, uh, the Scrabble. Okay, so to set up that, we'll need to click on this plus button. Here, you got the Scrabble, click on that. Ta-da! This is the default Scrabble that we created for you. Okay, adjust the size. And now we click on this pencil button to edit that. You can keep the default names or adjust um, the names that you want. So my name here are Matthew, Charlie, Lucas, and Max. Okay. Matthew, and you, in order to uh, separate each names, you will need to click enter. And you also need at least two different words to uh, create a Scrabble. Charlie, uh, Lucas, Max. All right, so we have four names here. Right, so um, the score here is this number. This numbers. And um, for the uh, cell background, the cell background is this wood uh, background here. You can see no background with the background. I personally really like the background it would pops up the crosswords a lot. So I'll turn it on. And you can also uh, allow your customers to change the cell background just like I did here. Like that. Yeah. Okay, so turn it on. And in order to um, allow your customer to, to um, change the Cell background, you need to create a new clip art category. 
All right, so you need to go back to the access page and create a category with your cell background images. I already created that, so I'm gonna just choose it here, cell background here with the uh, cells images here. And uh, the label, all right. So next we're gonna move to the personalization setting. It will, you will need to go to this section and enable personalization so your customer can be able to personalize it on your storefront. Okay, enable. There you go, you can see it here. Option title is this title here. Uh, let's say at name. That no placeholder and you can set up the maximum words that your customer can put in this box. You can also set up like me, allow customer to change text color, uh, allow customer to change the um, font for this uh, for this. Um, font family adjustment you will need to uh, set the default text in custom font here choose the custom fonts for them and i'm gonna choose this one here this one all right just um click edit that again and choose the font family here, change from family. And uh, I have also already uh, upload a font family on the access page. So I'll just choose the font family here, Scrabble. All right, so you can see the font family here. I'll just make it a little bit bigger. All right. And that is done for the um, Scrabble edition. And uh, I'm just gonna add a few more layers and then I can have a full like final artworks just like this. I'm gonna show you like this. Add more, some more information. Okay, so I'm gonna, the, the third step is you go to the campaign space campaigns page, um, click on buy product base here, because um, before in the first step, we import the product from product base. So we click on buy product base here and create new campaign, personalized cross words. Okay, save. And your job here is just to add the product base in the first step that you added. And then uh, you click on this pencil button to uh, enable the variants that you want to allow your customer to choose. I want to uh, sell um, only in uh, vertical canvas. So I'm gonna remove some other sizes. Okay. This is gonna take some time, just be patient. Uh, I forgot here, this one is very famous size. All right, that's great. And just click save. Okay, so the next step, uh, you will need to reload for the um, app to update the variants that you have just removed. Okay, it is updated. And now your job is to add the artwork, the design that you've just created on the artworks page. Okay. The final uh, artwork that I've created here. So I will choose that one. And um, 
don't forget to click locate artwork because uh, maybe the size going to be uh, different in uh, each print area. I set a fixed design, a fixed size for the um, artwork. So just make sure that the, the, the size are not messing up. Okay, same for this. I forgot to check on this. Mm -hmm. You can see the size is not cover all of the print area. So make it a little bit bigger. All right, save. Okay. Yeah. Also check on the size. All right. And here you scroll down a little bit and you can see the mockup here. This is the default mockup of Dreamship and I'm gonna I'm not gonna use it, so I will remove that and upload my own mockup here. I've already um, upload them on our mockup library here, so I'm just gonna use that. All right, so at the print area, mm, let's search. Okay. And the magic here is you will move the print area layer backward. So it will cover all of your um, design like this. So for the mockup, uh, let me show you. For the mockup, you need to create like a transparent area for your design to be uh, to be appear here on this area. All right, so turn it on. Save. Okay, I have another mockup with a different perspective. So, okay, this one. At print area, same step. And now you can see that it is a little bit tighter. So I'm gonna use um, our perspectives feature here, enable it. Uh, First, I'm gonna like move it backward to after, okay, like that, and click edit perspective for the print area layer. Edit that, you can see four dots here, right? So it will adjust the perspective of the print area. All right, so. Perfect, done and save. And that is done for the uh, Scrabble personalized crosswords campaign. And you can now just click launch and it is already um, ready to be launched on your store. Uh, easy, right? Just a few steps and you are ready to sell this incredible feature. Uh, you can, uh, Combine this feature to sell on different products, not just canvas or poster. You can also sell it on whatever product that you can think of, like ornaments or um, T-shirt or wrapping papers, whatever products that you want to sell. So there is no limit here. All right. So uh, if you're really interested in this feature, try them on and give us more feedbacks from you about this feature and show us your campaign when you finish this one. All right. So uh, thank you for watching this uh, video from me. And if you have any confusion or any question about this feature or for my team, just click on the command down below and send your message to us. Thank you and see you later. Bye-bye.